Hey, welcome to Tabletop Skirmish Games. I'm Lee, and in this video, we'll be having a look at War Games Illustrated issue 436, which is perfect if you've just started playing Rogue Warriors. So in this magazine, it's 5 dollars here in the UK, and this month it comes with a free sprue. Now, this isn't any sprue. This is the Special Ops sprue from Warlord Games, which has been out of stock on their website for a long time. It's part of their Project Z game. But now... Somehow, it's featured in War Games Illustrated, and this is great value. You're going to get a sprue and the magazine for just $5.99, and this sprue is going to give you eight Special Forces soldiers with loads of bits left over. So I thought we could have a close-up look at the sprue first, and then we'll flick through the magazine, seeing as we've got it, and hopefully that'll help you decide whether or not this is something you'd like to add to the collection. So you can see there, this is a Warlord Games sprue, and I'm really a big fan of these. I've bought a lot of them for Population Z, our own game. So their zombie sprues and survivor sprues are excellent, packed with all different weapons. And this Spec Ops one is just going to be great for rogue warriors. You could literally get this with eight potential warriors on there, and that'll be four per player. So that's all you need. You could buy our rule book, grab this magazine with this one sprue, and you've got all eight miniatures that you need for both teams. On top of the eight miniatures, you're going to have loads of weapons left over as well. And the great thing with all the Warlord game sprues is you get the different weapons. So you'll get pistols, assault rifles, you get things like bazookas, rocket launchers, RPGs, you get submachine guns, light machine guns, and you also get loads of the different heads as well. So you can see here that there's 15 featured in that section, or 14, I should say, sorry, featured in that section. There's also another one or two dotted around on the sprue. So you're certainly not going to use all of those in one go, but if you bought multiple sprues, then you can have all different heads and have completely different looking warriors for your games. Another thing you could do is grab some of the other Warlord game sprues if you've got any spare, and then use those extra components, heads and the different weapons, and use the bodies from your other sprues, because the size is going to be comparable. You can see the torsos are similar there. I've got the legs close together, so you can see they're the same size and proportion. So all these are definitely going to be able to work together. So as well as the eight bodies that are included on that sprue, grab another one, and then you could even make more warriors, which I think would be awesome. And if you wanted to just de develop your own platoon for a campaign game like Tiger Blood, you'll need two extra bodies for a full platoon of ten. In fact, all the Warlord sprues are going to work great for Rogue Warriors. It's all modern warfare, so anything from World War II right up to modern day is going to be great. And this is a World War II set of sprues. It's the British Commonwealth Infantry. And on here, you just get so many cool components. Ten heads all together. And this was actually free. This came free with an order I put in a while ago. So they send out these odd sprues sometimes, which is excellent. Anyway, we're going to cover more of that in future videos. Let's have a look at the magazine then. And great cover. This really fits in with the SAS theme that I'm working on behind the scenes. So that's awesome. And the quality is really good with this magazine. This is one of the first I've bought, actually, War Games Illustrated. I'm sure I had one in the past, but I think this is the first one I've actually bought. And yeah, really nice print and quality. So yeah, that's excellent. And they've got a subscription service as well. You can get 12 issues from £60 if you wanted to. And it looks like they cover the different regions. And if you go for the Prime, so you can have it in print or Prime. And if you go for the Prime, you'll get some money off vouchers for Warlord Games and some of the other supplies. So if you buy from them every month, it's a no-brainer. Get hold of this, you make a saving and get a magazine too. I'm really looking forward to having a good read through this issue. There's some great articles in here and it covers all different eras right back to like Caesar, you've got medieval, you've got the Napoleonic stuff as well and then lots of World War II. You've got Actung Panzer. So I'm actually got this to show you later on this week. So look out for that. I'll be doing an unboxing so you can get a sneak peek ahead of the launch coming soon. But it's really cool. You see all these different eras featured. And since I started playing Bolt Action and now with our own Rogue Warriors game, I'm really getting into this military history side of things. It's really fun and it's certainly you learn a lot. But one thing I really like is how this magazine focuses on using movies to create your game. So there's lots of articles in there. And that's something I've really started to get into lately and is taking an idea from a movie and then playing it out in a game. Oh, here's another one, Clash of Steel by Gale Force 9 Games. I've got that to show you soon as well. I really can't wait. That looks excellent, that box set. Anyway, back to the magazine. Nice section on painting here. 
And so you can see loads of different examples. And then again, we're focusing on the theme of what seems to be this month's issue, which is movies. So we're having a look there at the Napoleon movie. Pulp Fiction have got a nice page spread in there with some of their miniatures. Really great miniatures, something completely different. And then more painting guides. We're looking at actually manufacturing, I believe, there. And then look at this section. This is awesome. SAS. And this is all based on the Rogue Hero series. I love that scene, how they put there. That's what got me to buy the models that I showed on my Facebook page recently. And then this is one of the scenes from that series where they go up the airfield in the Jeeps, just shooting all the aeroplanes. And I just think that's such a fantastic episode. And I really want to recreate that in some of the Rogue Warrior missions later on. And once I finish this video, I'll actually be doing an unboxing of all the SES miniatures that I've got to show off. But this section's really great. This is all to do with the sprue that was included. So you can see here all the different miniatures built from that sprue. There's eight there. And they've built them to look like the uh, Call of Duty soldiers. So that's awesome. Another thing that I really wanted to do with Rogue Warriors. So this is perfect timing. I didn't know this was even out. And it's a big thanks to Andy who brought this to my attention on my Facebook page. And it's really great that this is available. For 5 99 to get that sprue and a good magazine like this, I think is just awesome. So hopefully you'll find this helpful. And if you want to get started with Rogue Warriors, this is a really great way to do it. 5 99 8 miniatures. I just can't believe it. It's brilliant. Anyway, now we're carrying on with that theme. And here they've got the A-Team featured in there and lots of different series and movies like Ghostbusters. And all these can be incorporated into Rogue Warriors. So I'd love to do an A-Team mission ex expansion. That would be so fun. And then as you get to the back of the magazine, we've got all the ads so you can have a look at different miniature makers. And that's it. That's War Games Illustrated, issue 436 with the free Spec Ops sprue made by Warlord Games. And I hope you found this video helpful and enjoyed seeing the sprue up close. And now you could decide whether or not you'd like to add this to your collection. But again, I think it's just a great way to get started with Rogue Warriors. You can't go wrong to have eight warriors on one sprue like that. I've really enjoyed this magazine. Certainly interested in getting more of these. I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments down below. What do you think about this issue and the magazine in general? Have you been subscribing and is this something that you get regularly? Thanks so much for watching. If you liked the video, it'd be great if you hit the like button, subscribe to keep up to date with all the news and I look forward to seeing you here next time on Tabletop Skirmish Games. A big thanks to my Patreon supporters for helping me keep going with these regular videos and if you're looking to get some great perks for all our games now, Population Z, Weekend Warriors, Rogue Warriors, and soon Lunaria Chronicles, then that's the place to be. There's a link down below where you can find out more. We'd love to see you there. If you're wondering what Rogue Warriors is, then I've included here at the end of this video a very quick introduction to the game. So if you want to watch that, here it is. Welcome to Rogue Warriors, a modern warfare skirmish game where strategy, cunning, and planning determine the victor of intense, fast-paced battles. Designed for swift learning and easy teaching, Rogue Warriors immerses players in the evolving landscape of modern warfare, spanning the gritty battlegrounds of World War II to the shadowy realms of current day covert operations. At the heart of Rogue Warriors is a game system that values speed, intuition and adaptability. Players assemble their mission teams, carefully selecting from a wide array of expertise, each with unique capabilities and limitations. Specialists and weapon choices further enrich the gameplay, introducing dynamic rules and strategies that ensure no two games are ever the same. The mix of historical, contemporary and fictional settings allows for an unparalleled variety of skirmish scenarios, movie recreations and historical reenactments. Use the Mission Builder table to create thousands of missions for any era and theatre of war with prompts, locations, enemies, objectives, winning conditions and 36 deployment maps. Rogue Warriors is miniature agnostic too, so you can use your favourite 28mm miniatures or collections in scales from 15mm to 40mm without adapting the rules. The game's mechanics are streamlined yet deep, designed to keep the action moving and the adrenaline pumping. Rogue Warriors features alternate activations, allowing players to react and adapt swiftly to the unfolding chaos of the battlefield. 
However, this familiar system comes with a twist that adds an extra layer of strategy and unpredictability, challenging players to think on their feet and outmaneuver their opponents in real time. Whether you're orchestrating a daring raid behind enemy lines, defending a strategic position against overwhelming odds, or executing a covert operation in enemy territory, Rogue Warriors offers an engaging and immersive skirmish experience. With easy to learn and easy to teach rules, quick setup times, and the flexibility to play across various eras and settings, Rogue Warriors, a modern warfare skirmish game, is the perfect battlefield for new players and veterans alike. Prepare your teams, choose your battlefield, and enter the fray. Victory awaits those bold enough to claim it. Welcome to Rogue Warriors. Come and join us where we'll show you how to assemble a team for Rogue Warriors. We'll take you through the core rules with the key concepts and main mechanics of the game. And then we'll show you how to design your own missions and you can create thousands using our mission builder table. You'll find links down below to our website where you can find PDFs and paperback copies of the book and narrative expansions, as well as a host of blog posts that will take you through every aspect of the game, going into a deep dive on some of the rules and much more. Subscribe to our YouTube channel to keep up to date with all the news and videos for Rogue Warriors and we'd love to see you on our Facebook group page so you can share pictures of your games and the teams that you build. Thanks so much for watching, we hope you enjoy Rogue Warriors and we can't wait to share more content and videos about the game with you.